Brood Wolfish here. Guys, welcome back. Part 2 of Father's Day. Uh, the game is... I can't say it's as scary as uh, Summer of 58, but so far it gave me um, some pretty decent jump scares, I would say. Uh, so, yeah, let's continue our time travel story. So, uh, last time we stopped with the, with the Ouija board thing. Wonder where that's gonna take us. Right. Oh, so we need a password to get out of here. Okay, fair enough. password be normally I'd think it'd be the whatever Ouija board is gonna tell us right oh there we go <laughs> thank you game okay that's not creepy at all okay tell me the password please one four Zero one four zero eight one four zero eight. Okay, seems like an easy one. Hello, are you gonna scare me? Huh. One four zero eight. It is. As long as no one's gonna jump out, I'm fine with that. Oops. Okay. One, four, zero, eight. Here goes nothing. This one's still locked. Silent Hill. It's like a mix of Silent Hill and Doom, literally. Okay, yeah, I just want to have a look at the box. Need another key. Okay. Where do I plug in? Okay, it's already here. Right. There is no lever. Oh, don't tell me we need to find something else. Yeah, bummer. Okay, that's fine. We did pick up the the part of the time machine though. I think it was this this light bulb thingy. So I just suppose we need to go back or yeah, it's probably in that locked box. Okay, anyway. Jesus, help me. Okay, so things are changing. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir, miss, madam, whatever. Mannequins in the game are sh sure are helpful. Hello? Okay, I'm surprised nothing happened. There we go. 
Now, where do we put it? Put it here. I want to hear the truth. Creator. Okay. So I thought the main guy's name was Phil. Act for the golden egg. The golden egg is a virtual world created from the memories and actions of certain person, and we also analyze what he is afraid of in order to use it in the future. The next stage is putting a person's mind into a virtual world so he thinks that everything he sees around him is real. Uh, then we connect to the consciousness of a person and try to find what, he's, what secrets he keeps. In our egg we have created a space of a maniac so we so that he will not be able to distinguish reality from the virtual world and he will think that his life this is his life while uh, he's distracted our task is to dig into his memories of this case to do this we will connect the person who will explore the world and record evidence of for us together with the district police we're launching the system wait does that mean Does that mean there is no time machine, but it, all of this is just in our head or something? I knew it, okay. Communication with Henry has been interrupted, he no longer gets in touch. Henry is the, the cop, right? Uh, Henry got beyond the golden egg, only Maniac knows where he is now. We need a person who has already been to this place. In reality, he himself will not get out of his world. Okay. I'm a little bit confused. So are both stories just like uh, f fictional ones and none of this is real? We're calling Jonathan, wait. Okay. Be careful, evil knows where to look for you. Be careful, evil knows where to look for you. Um, it's it's kind of I'm not sure if it's making this less intimidating. You know when when you know all of this is like a simulation. Jonathan, show me how it was. But don't go beyond boundaries of the world. It's dangerous. I was in this place so many years ago. It's like it was yesterday. So, I don't get it. Last time, did we die or what happened exactly? So we got here and then the game ended. Just need to get bull cars, I suppose. Need a crowbar. Don't see anyone there. Okay. Why would we try to break in into the toilet though when someone's crying there? Okay. Luckily we have night vision, it's not as creepy. Okay, what was that? I got a crowbar. Surprise me, I'm ready. I uh, need to look for gloves, there is something there. Ugh. Jesus. It's delicious. Well, at least we... Because we're gonna use gloves, right? A pair of gloves. Seems to be locked from the inside. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Oh, um... 
how about uh, I'll I just walk around? A chair here, a chair there. So okay, so the game actually wants us to go there. Fair enough. Can't avoid that. I wish I could though. Uh, gee, why am I doing this to myself? You okay there, lady? Okay. Well, unfortunately, I kinda did see that coming with the night vision, so it was like kinda expecting that. Okay. For a second there, I thought. I could actually go to the park to explore, but here it goes, uh, house again. Suspicious. Is anyone there? Ooh. That's creepy. <laughs> For a second it, it looked a little bit like uh, like a condom. I'm like what had to, to do a double take for a second there. I uh, need a liar and fuel. Oh yeah, I thought I thought I took it before so I don't need any presents, please let us go home. We are we are very scared. Wow. Someone's cooking baby rats. Yeah, this is a letter sent to Emma. The son, son of a bitch, stole it. I knew he was guilty. Emma, your neighbor doesn't bother you anymore. I know you're, you're kind to him, but your son likes him. But he seems strange to me. His name is Phil, and he lives alone. I've got something on him. He had a family. They got into a car accident. His wife and child died. After that, he moved into an apartment in your house. I don't think you should talk to him, your brother Jonathan. I don't get it. I thought Phil was a good guy and just trying to re get his family back. Circus performance, blah blah blah, whatever. What do we have here? Okay, liar fluid. Huh. He was here, he was hidden. That's weird. Toy train in the attic. Okay. Where was that locked door? Distracted by that mannequin thing. How are you doing that? <coughs> Jesus. Uh, I took out the access card. Access card for what? Now that's the main question. I don't think I've seen anything. Uh, Access card. There was a lock on this. Yep. Okay, is there like a basement or something? Mercy. 
it's always the sounds that get me. Um, there must be something I'm missing, maybe in the attic. Oh, there you go. Okay, what did I just open? I didn't find this diary in reality. I need to dive into it and find out what happened to his, to him as a child. Why is he hiding these memories? Uh, I came from. After, I came after school. My mom was in bad mood, and I had to sit in the basement again. Okay. Okay. That's a bit weird. was hoping to get to know more since we got the diary and it's just like a couple of sentences back as Jonathan oh so we get to we get to play as two different people in the same memory or what Okay, don't mind if I do, since you're inviting me. Oh, now she's gone. Okay, fine, if you insist, I'll go into the house. That's new. Uh, Jonathan, you've gone too far. Do you want to know the truth? I'll tell you. I'll tell you her. What? I'll tell you it. You mean. Tonight, two patients escaped from a psychiatric hospital, a man and a woman. They present themselves as a married couple, enter into trust and come can harm others. Be careful not to come into contact with them if you suspect anything, call the police. What? So is the guy a scientist who's gonna who's attempting time travel to try and travel or is he like a psychopath and he's like a, a schizophrenic or something? Oh, I thought it was a... Oh, it is like a statue. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Okay. So we got a lever. Is there another time machine? Is this... I don't think this is the same house that we were in an apartment before. No, ma no matter how, ha how hard you try it, uh, they can't admit that you are an unusual child. I want them to understand that. Why are you uh, hindering me? How much longer are you going to put up with being locked up in the basement? We need freedom. I have to plan... Have to. I have a plan to get rid of them. Let me do it. Can't even read. What was that? Oh, that's a bit... A bit disappointing, I was hoping could see my reflection. Okay. Pasta. Someone is whispering. I haven't checked the second floor yet. Okay, fine. Works for me. I actually prefer staying in the house, to be honest. Yeah, fine, I'm going. Oh. see to turn on the camera ok 
Okay, so I guess we're looking for some some clues and the camera is gonna help us. Phil? This kid is not Phil. Who is he? Okay. I'll try to repeat these photos. Uh, <laughs> okay. I wish I remembered how the first picture looked like. The graveyard, that's fine, but... What is here? Oh. What do we have here? Phil, my son, me and dad wanted to help you so much. We moved into a new house in the hopes of uh, every hoping that everything's gonna change, but evil possessed you and we didn't know how to deal with it. Terrible things began to happen, killing birds and animals. It wasn't your fault, you were held hostage by a monster. I wanted to get rid of him. Okay, it's just nail polish. Huh. Really not sure where the first picture was, but can go outside and see find the graveyard, I mean the gravestone. Okay. I got my uh, answer pretty much. Is there a way to check pictures and stuff? Huh. Just gonna do some random pictures. No, it definitely wasn't wasn't here, but Nope. Hmm. Supposed need to go back upstairs. Something tells me I'm missing something on the first floor. Oh, there we go. Get a lockpick. Oh, nice. Need to take these photos of these places. That's convenient. Okay, I think that's in the attic or something. the luck uh. 
I still don't understand what what the lockpick is for in the crowbar. What? Jesus. And they're... Oh. They're gone. What happens if I look through this thing again? They're still here. Oop, they're gone. Still here. Gone. She hit the keys, find the lockpick. You know how to use it. Okay, as long as you tell me what to open, that's fine. I need the bolt cutter for that, right? For the chain and the lock? Or not, okay, easy solution. Like, like in the cinema, I really like the sounds in the game. It's just like uh, a bit immersive. From time to time, my left ear gets to enjoy them, but usually it's my my right one. Like, who comes up with this? This is so random. A wheelchair, and then there's this old um, music player. Music box, whatever it's called. With these creepy sounds like what? Okay, camera out. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, that's number one. Ooh. Maybe I can break something with them. Yeah, you sure can. So we'll go back to the basement. Uh, yeah. What happens afterwards, though? Why? Why, dude? hallway okay, is this like a portal or something okay what is this What did we just take? Okay. Guess there's only one way to find out. Need to confront whoever that guy was. get it let me have a look at the phone again it looks like it's somewhere in the attic or something just gonna have a quick look upstairs as well you never know Yep, all the same. Okay, fine. Going back.
was there like a shed or something outside? No. Huh, guess not, okay. Like it's definitely in that attic. Or not? Huh? Am I missing something? Shiny. Ooh, it worked. Looks like the lock in the basement has opened. I'm I swear that was completely random. I just switched off the flashlight hoping to see something shiny. I had no idea that I would need to put that whatever that is. Is it like like a rune or something? Had no idea I had to put it there, so it was just an accident, I guess, like a guess. Hold on, before I do that... Okay. Off we go to the basement. Already preparing myself. So, which way to the basement, though? It did unlock some kind of basement door. Just gonna have a, another look. Hope it's uh, something not too obvious that I'm missing. I can just pick it up, have a look. Is there something on the dagger? That's weird. Pick it up, but can't do much with it. guys are still here just chilling suppose I can check it upstairs maybe there's a hidden room or something it did say it was a basement door but ah what why not
Well, the only place I haven't checked it's outside, so. That's new. This definitely wasn't here before. After my parents were taken away, I ended up in an orphanage. Orphanage. Uh, there, there I found friends, and it seems I became happy. The monster that I lived in me calmed down and stopped appearing. I wanted to find family that would accept me for who I really was, uh, and normal. No, okay, and normal. Was this here before? Okay. Hello. Dodge, please. Almost got me, not gonna lie. I did my best to get my parents and me to psychic psychiatric clinic. They were diagnosed with schizophrenia, dangerous form because they almost harmed their child. Oh, so the main guy okay. So I guess it's his parents. Well cutter, yay! Can go can this is my most favorite part. Can go back finally and unlock the basement. Another room. Go back to the attic. Unlock more stuff. Uh, there was a chest in my in my mother's room. Maybe I can open it with this. Okay. I'm watching the. Like I said, I'm watching you guys. Can't scare me that easily now. Okay. again I sure wish I knew what, what it was but I, I suppose I'm gonna find out <laughs> in a second or two ah, I already got the ball cars but still nothing the chest <laughs> the sound effects what was that Steven and Nancy 
We returned to our house, but others slid here. Uh, I needed to get rid of them and get my life back. They had a child. He looks so much like Phil. With him, uh, we can start all over again. Little Pierre, where your new mom and dad. What? So are, were they really schizophrenic? She wanted to start over, but something went wrong. <gasps> Pardon me? Thank you very much, I really needed that. I was a bit sleepy, not gonna lie. <laughs> that woke me up. I'm all awake, wide awake. Okay, we're going back to the attic. It's really weird how I was actually expecting to use the lockpick on the on the chest and then the bull car is on the door with chains. But it is what it is. Ooh. That's new. Creepy as F. Still can't take the dagger. Okay, fine. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, what the heck was that? Man, I'm telling you, the jump scares are so much better than caffeine. If you're feeling sleepy or whatever. Okay, I didn't get a good look. I wonder if I missed anything. Couldn't tell what was happening, just saw the door. Okay, fine. Bigfoot, my friend, Barbara Finch. Hmm, some VHS tapes. Thank you very much. I really needed that. Okay, I'm watching the movie. Is it something nice? I hope it's something nice. Oh, I suppose a child who craves parental love becomes rejected because he is not like that. I, I need to I need to help Phil to find freedom. I'll come down Phil, blah blah blah. After that accident Phil asked me to help him to get his family back. We tried many times but it didn't work and Phil only got worse. I was left alone, I decided that uh, if we couldn't get the, re the real family back, then I could find a new one. Well, I was thinking about it. I remembered our house where we were together and decided to take a look at it. I still don't understand what's going on. When I, go, when I got home, I saw a baby. Phil could take care of him. I tried to convince Phil to go to the Father's Day celebration on Sunday, saying that your life will change there, but he refused. Then I went there myself, wearing my best outfit. I wanted to amuse the children. <laughs> I met my father with a child. It was that boy from the house. He treated him badly. He wasn't the, his real father. I made sure he was left alone and he went over to him. His name was Peter. Okay. Um, your subconscious is more adequate than you. They must understand that you are evil. You made your parents monsters. They killed Peter's parents because of you. I'm a lost JJ because of you. Okay, I'm not really following 
the story. Not sure what's going on here. I came home after school. My mom was in bad mood. I had to sit in the basement again. Okay, is this the loading screen again? Okay. Jonathan, AM four twenty seven. Welp, that was a tough one, guys. Okay, um, I guess I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully, that's gonna conclude the story. Um, I really hope so, but if not, I don't mind, um, you know, facing whoever that was in the basement. So, I'll catch you guys later.